During my freshman year at Syracuse University, I was walking along in my dormitory halls when I found an image of the Star of David with a giant slash over it. And it said on, on this poster, Boycott Israel. I went to my residence director and told him there's this image plastered up on the wall with the Star of David being crossed out. So I asked him, why is this up there? And can you help me figure out who put this up? He told me it was himself. And he said that he put up the picture of the Star of David being crossed out along with these other activism photos, photos of Colin Kaepernick kneeling to the American flag, to the national anthem, and right next to the photo of Martin Luther King speaking to honor Black History Month. And I asked, how is this honoring Black History Month if Martin Luther King was a staunch advocate for Israel and against anti-Semitism, how are you advocating for him and what he stood for? So then he tried to tell me, well, this was actually advocating for Palestinian rights. I've always been openly supportive of Israel as a Jew, and I always think that I'm going to stand up for the Jewish people whenever I see anti-Semitism. But this incident in my dorm really got me to realize that this type of anti-Semitism is growing on our college campuses and it's growing in the name of progressivism when it's not progressive at all. They're not just calling for Israel's destruction. I mean, under that, they're, they're really spewing this anti-Semitic hatred and anti-Semitism is really prevalent in this so-called pro-Palestine movement. That's what really inspired me to do something about it. After I wrote my first article for the Algeminer on this incident, I thought, hey, I want to write about more incidents like these. Because the next time a Jewish student comes across something anti-Semitic or experiences anti-Semitism on their college campuses, I want to help them speak out about it.